And now, for State of Trains, in Star Citizen. It is the year 2952. While the far-flung future has gifted mankind with many marvels and advancements, there are some things that are truly timeless. One of those things is the phrase, I need a ride to the airport, which is evident in the city planning throughout Stanton. From Area 18 in Lorville to even New Babbage and Orison, the UEE has decided that spaceports are to be accessible by rail systems and public transportation only. While this has been derided by virtually every citizen across Spectrum, the commitment to forcing pilots into pedestrians deserves some scrutiny. The concept of the railway was invented in the early 1800s. While the technology and methods have evolved throughout the centuries, the basic concept of a transportation network remains the same. Moving things and people from one place to another. In this episode, let's look at how this concept is applied to the various planets in the Stanton system. In Lorville, the Hurston Urban Rapid Transit System was the first established rail network in Stanton. It's also the most intricate, with multiple lines and stops. Lorville Spaceport, or the Blue Line, connects from the spaceport to the metro center. While earlier versions featured a single train and long wait times, city planners eventually unearthed ancient technology from the 1800s and applied bi-directional railways to the transit system. With multiple trains being able to operate on the same line, this cut down wait times considerably. The Central, or Gray Line, connects from Lorville's Leaveson Square Station to the Central Business District. While this line saw reluctant traffic during its early days, merchants complained about catching multiple trains from the spaceport to the CBD, which led to action from Lorville's Transit Authority. The Commerce, or Green Line, fixed all this. With direct access from the spaceport to the CBD, merchants could land and immediately connect to the business district to sell their goods. Archaeologists recently uncovered two still-functioning lines connecting the various perimeter gates of Lorville. While puzzled about their exact use, they have identified the red line as connecting the metro center to gates 1, 2, and 3. The yellow line connects the metro center to gates 4, 5, and 6. On... in? Is it in Crusader? Is it still technically on if it's in a gas cloud? Whatever. Hovering above Crusader, Orison has established a more streamlined system. Orison Skyway currently has a single line, with stops at Cloudview Center, the Providence Industrial Platform, and August Dunlo Spaceport. Shuttle service operates on a bi-directional looping system, so passengers can get direct access to any platform from any other location. A secondary line, the Discovery Tour, is slated to open sometime in the near future, where citizens will eventually be able to see creatures inspired by their funding. On ArcCorp, City Flight Transit handles the complex job of having two stops, with an occasional third at the Bevic Convention Center during special events. While City Flight handles the 14-kilometer ride between Riker Memorial Spaceport and Area 18 proper, there has been much criticism concerning their lack of safety and inability to provide passengers with a route map. For the sake of anyone passing through Area 18, we have rendered this map of the City Flight Transit Network. On the safety side, Complaints range from carriages operating with open doors, unnecessarily merging into traffic, and flying too close to buildings. Some passengers have made a game of leaping from open doors directly into Area 18. Be advised that this is highly dangerous and should not be attempted unless you're recording. On Microtech, New Babbage is host to a sprawling network of rail systems. However, only one is currently open to the public. A bi-directional looping network 
The Microtech Transit Authority services the new Babbage Interstellar Spaceport, the Commons, Aspire Grand, and the Tobin Expo Center during special events. While New Babbage plays host to cutting edge technology, the safety record is spotty at best. Several reports of open doors and collisions on an already simple network put the heat on this icy planet. One fatality was confirmed as a passenger exited onto the tracks through a faulty door. This social media posting shows the tragic events that took place when this train was allowed to operate with a faulty door. Ooh, looks like we're gonna need another Timmy. And now for this week's transit tip. Don't run at trains. There will always be another train. All right, happy April Fools everyone, or as we call it in Star Citizen, Triggerfish. Now that that's over, quick tidbit. State of trade will return when trade is meaningful again, hopefully in 318. At the moment, I've realized that most trading trends have pretty much stayed the same, and I kind of grew tired of repeating the same information. Now, there may be the occasional video before then, but, uh, you know, no promises. Now, if you're still here, the first person to email me the word Triggerfish at the email listed below will win a hover quad. Now, if I don't respond to your email, I apologize, but someone beat you to it. <clears throat> anyway, that's it for State of Trains. Until next time, keep on... Um, keep on keeping on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.